And here we are. So uh, we've finally arrived at uh, Barumbadam Campgrounds, which I guess means welcome to another episode of Yak Hunters TV, episode three. Uh, look, it's looking great so far. We're just about to head to camp, meet the rest of the Yak Hunters, and uh, get underway and get settled in for uh, a nice four days fishing. Sweet. Let's do it. Too easy. Hi, how are you? Good, good to see you. So PB for this weekend we got a beat. 47 on the $10 Kmart rod. Pine skipper from Jarvis Walker. As the evening arrives, the boys settle in a camp, ready for a big day ahead tomorrow. Morning Yak Hunters, trying to get this episode started.
uh, we're out here, it's day one, and the conditions are absolutely mint. I don't know if you can see behind us, but it is just full glassed out, zero wind. There's no one on the dam but us. Absolutely perfect. So this morning the guys are targeting schooled up bass. So we're out here in the main basin, and uh, the guys are working together to try and find those schools of bass and get them on the bite. So, as Lippy said, it's day one. We've got three days ahead of us uh, where we're going to be out fishing. Each day, going to be trying to target uh, a different technique and, a, and uh, a few different fish out here. Uh, the boys are already starting to get onto a few. Uh, so, we're going to get out there, uh, see if we can find some school bass, and ideally uh, get some good uh, footage for you guys to, uh, to digest for the day. Get into it, fellas. And it doesn't take long for our yak hunters to get stuck into the fish. Yep. Watch, we have it a dig. Yeah, just straight out front of the A little one. <laughs> little one, baby. Tiny. How you got? Not. <laughs> That's your one, bud. You know me. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> Look at that. Colored jackal vibe, little rattle trap, just slowly jigging along the bottom and barely moving really. Get this little boy, put up a decent little fight. But bass weren't the only species on the boy. The yellow belly also come out to play.
It's a liberal dog. Well, after an awesome day on the water with plenty of fish caught, it's now time for our yak hunters to return to camp and tell some stories of their adventures for the day. <laughs> with the evening proudly sponsored by Green Beacon Breweries, a favorite beer of yak hunters. Back at camp, our yak hunters are gearing up to target a very different kind of fish today. We're rigging up another extra rod. Have all the bases covered. Today, our yak hunters have geared up for a big paddle right up the back of the dam amongst the dead timbers. This time, they're on the hunt for the elusive Saratoga. Day two, we're out on the dam nice and early uh, this morning. Uh, we're back in our natural habitat on the on the kayaks after doing filming on the on the boat yesterday. But this dam in southeast Queensland is just one of the most picturesque ones around. So you can see at the, at the moment we've got all the fog that's hanging around. It will start to lift as the as the day goes on and it warms up, and you'll start to see the mountains behind it. You can't beat this out fishing with a, a good bunch of blokes on your kayak. Absolute picturesque scenery. It's gonna be a cracking day. First trip out here so far, beautiful dam. Um, a few bats on the first day, a bit unlucky yesterday, but uh, see if we get on some toga today and get into it. Scratch a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about the top, it's just the bottom. Uh. 
A few of the guys have packed some overnight camp gear for a little overnight stay up the back of the dam. This gives them more time to hunt for Saratoga without the huge paddle from the main boat ramp. So I'm just about to start targeting Toga. We're uh, up at the back of the dam and there's some real nice snags and banks here. Now, when I target Toga, one of my favorite lures to use and one I've had the most success on is the Chase Baits Wiggle Bomb. This little guy here. So I guess it kind of replicates a, uh, a little frog or a tadpole in its early stages of development. But not only that, they're completely weedless. So when you're casting amongst the snags, it's a really good choice um, to get in there and avoid losing lures when your trebles get caught on snags. But there's one little secret I love to add to this lure, and it is S-Factor. So the lure itself is kind of hollow. So what I do is uh, I'll take the, the little frog off the hook like so, and all I'll simply do is with that same hole, I will fill it with S factor. So it's like a big goopy bomb of uh, gooey goodness. And I don't know what it is, but I've found that the Saratoga absolutely love it when it is soaked in S factor. So uh, a little wiggle bomb hack there. Get to us some S factor, fill up your wiggle bomb with that S factor, and you've got a nice juicy ball of uh, goodness that the Saratoga seem to love. Let's give it a crack. Just throw a bit of spinner bait, looking these edges. Just give it a bit of a shimmer. A bit of a drop off over there, looking these snags. Hopefully a toga or a yellow would snap onto it, you know? Look at it. The fluffy bit. You know I like the fluffy bits. <laughs> 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 but catching Saratoga isn't always an easy task. Oh no! You're kidding! See that? <laughs> Landed right on top of one. Absolutely spooked him. He probably won't hit that because I uh, scared the absolute bejeebas out of him. Methane bombs. Hey? Methane bombs. Oh, it was nasty. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh! You, oh, really? No, it, like, it literally just took it from the surf. Oh, dusted! You're joking! Quite often you find uh, that Saratoga are up really high in these uh, snags. And uh, that was definitely a perfect cast that uh, I was aiming for a Saratoga in a tree. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when you come to a bay or a cove like this, it, uh, you've really got to resist the temptation to go in there, um, which is what most people do. And quite often these bays can be very, very shallow. They will hold fish, but if it's only a metre or two deep, 
if you paddle in there, you're gonna spook the fish you're trying to catch. So the biggest thing you have to remember is, although it looks inviting, sit back and just cast into the bay rather than going in there and spooking the fish, okay? You wanna cast from a distance. Toga, yep. And finally, Liam's on to a Saratoga. Josh! I'm on! Toga! Big Toga! Oh yeah, nice toga. Here, big fella. Oh, loosen that drag, Liam. Loosen that drag. I've got a big toga on! Oh, shit! Very big. It's nice. This is PB! Woo! Holy God! Holy shit! Holy shit, that's big, man! That's a big fish. That's a very big fish. This is a nice fish. Nice fish. Alright, come on, come here. Come here. Oh, God. I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. Oh Jesus! Come here! Ah. Uh. It's bigger than my net! No! He fell off of the yak. He's probably at 90. So mate, tell us what happened. Oh, rookie area, error. Um, yeah, tried net him with a net this big. <laughs> Hooked onto the treble, ripped the treble out of his mouth. It was easily the biggest tag I've ever caught in my life. <laughs> What's the first thing you're going to buy when you get back? Ah, uh, lip grips. <laughs> <laughs> lip grips. Bugger mate, no oh. good. Oh, next well. time, next time. Let's get back into it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Stu Hanson. Uh, I'm from Taunton on the sunny coast. Uh, I've been fishing with yak hunters now for, I don't know, three, four years now. Um, really good camaraderie guys and yeah, a lot of good information on the site and that, so learning new things from them. So far the trip's been good. We've had a couple of cracker days of weather. Um, Managed a toga, plenty of bass and that, so it's been a pretty good trip so far. Meet some new people, just get away from work as Scotty said and enjoy ourselves. Kean's hooked up to an aggressive fish that he reckons just might be a Saratoga.
Oh, Jake. Get out of there. Oh, come on. Come, boy. Oh, he's in. Timber. Get out. Oh, shit. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, shit. He's down there. Look at this. Oh shit, he's wrapped me good in there. <laughs> Holy smoke! I think he might have got me off already. It seems Keen's hooked up to an angry bass that's run him right into a snag. But the question is, can Keen get the bass off the snag and get his lure back? Oh, that was a mission. Thought that was a bloody tiger. But at least we got a snag and got a little boat. That's the main thing. I don't know what it is, eh? Oh, it's a good fish. Liam's hooked up to another toga, but this time, can he land it? Oi, land it for me. Land it for me, land it for me. Land it. Right. What would that do? Oi, what's the rod, what's the rod? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. We land him, dude. Yeah, we need to hurry up. But I don't want to run him. I've only got eight pounds more. I've only got eight pounds. Yeah. 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 Yes! Okay, dude. You're not going to use those lip trips. Oh! Oi! Hendo! I got it on that lure you said! The, foot, the lure that I gave you! <laughs> ah! <laughs> right. Well done Liam, on landing an absolute cracker of a Saratoga. And soon enough, Josh Dow manages to find his own luck on landing a Saratoga. And even a second one. Have a look at the colours on this fish. What an absolutely beautiful species they are. And that pretty much concludes the trip. <laughs> Tell up, 
We were supposed to fish for a few more days, however, the weather turned pretty shocking and the boys were forced to call it there. They did, however, land some absolutely amazing fish in the first two days and ticked off all the species they came to target. Um, I've been part of the Yak Hunters group for I think about five years now. It's good getting out doing these weekends with the boys and having a bit of a catch up. Uh, this trip for me is just its more of a weekend away. I'm having a bit of a break, get away from work. Hopefully try and get a couple of toga while we're here. Uh, missed a couple yesterday, but still got today to go, so we'll see what happens. A huge thank you also goes out to Luke Hendo from Luke's Lines. Luke provided the safety boat for the duration of the Yak Hunters episode. You'll see Hendo in the Mad Rabbit and more Yak Hunters adventures to come. So, where should we go next, Dom, for uh, episode four? Well, I think we've been hanging around uh, Queensland and New South Wales for a little while. Let's, let's go further south. Yeah. Um, how far south do you reckon? I mean, I reckon uh, as far south as we can go. Maybe get down into uh, that far southern state they call Tasmania and across the Bass Strait down in the yeah, east of Tasmania. and uh, I don't know, maybe catch some trout. What do you reckon? That's a good idea. So we'll have to put the feelers out there, see if we can find some uh, some tour guides, some fellow yak hunters that are willing to uh, to show us the ropes down there. I've never actually targeted those species before, so it could be a bit of an adventure. Neither I. But uh, look, that's all to uh, look forward to in episode four. Thanks for watching guys, really hope you enjoyed this one and we'll catch you for the next episode of Yak Hunters TV. See you Yak Hunters.